today we are going to do few more sums on indices. Before we start with any of the problems, let us revise the laws of indices once more. In the laws, we have a to the power m into a to the power n is equals to a to the power m plus n. That means, when the bases are same, multi when multiplied, powers are added. When the bases are same, when divided, powers are subtracted. So, a to the power m divided by a to the power n is equals to a to the power m minus n. If we have a to the power m to the power n, then we can multiply the powers also. Number 4, a to the power m into b to the power m. When the power is same for both, we can multiply the base and write as a single power. 8 by b to the power m, we can also write it as a to the power m divided by b to the power m. Anything to the power 0, that is a to the power 0 is equals to 1. a to the power minus n is equals to 1 by a to the power n. This is how a negative power can be converted into positive. a to the power 1 by n is equals to nth power, sorry nth root of a. So, nth root of a can be written as a to the power 1 by n. So, let us start with this sum. We have to simplify this particular sum. In this sum, we find numbers 64 by 125 as base, 256 by 625 as base and here also we have root over under root 25, cube root under cube root 64 as base. Now, the very first thing we will find, find out or notice whether there is any 0 in the power. We already got one 0 in the power. So, from the laws anything to the power 0 is 1. So, here we are going to put 1 in the next step. Now, these numbers we will find out the factors of these numbers. So, 256 let us divide by 2 and we get the prime factors. How many 2's are there in 256? If we count, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2 to the power 8 is 256. Again from 64, if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 2 to the power 6 is 64. 625, if we divide by 5, it is easily and since we can understand because the units place we have 5. So, 625 when divided by 5, how many 5s we are getting? Till the end we are getting 5 to the power 4 which is 625 and 125 is 5 cube. So, we are going to replace these numbers by the smallest bases. Therefore, 624 is 2 to the power 6 by 125 is 5 to the power 3. Outside bracket we have minus 2 to the power 3 divided by 1 by 256 is 2 to the power 8. 625 is 5 to the power 4. Outside the bracket we have 1 fourth plus as we have found that the power is 0, we are going to write 1. to the power 6 we are going to write as 2 square whole to the power 3 and over here 2 to the power 8 we are going to write as 2 square whole to the power 4. 
this we are taking from one of the law a to the power m to the power n is equals to a to the power m n. We are doing the reverse of it a m n is equals to a to the power n to the power m. So, here we get a m n that is 2 to the power 6 we are breaking it in into 2 into 3. So, 2 square 2 the power 3 here 2 square 2 the power 4. Next step we are going to take 2 square by 5 and because both has 3 as power we will write 3. So, within bracket we wrote 2 square by 5 and to the power 3. Outside the bracket we have minus 2 third divided by the same thing we are going to do it here. Within bracket we will write 2 square by 5 to the power 4. Outside the third bracket we have 1 fourth plus 1. Now, this again we get from the laws of indices. The next law a to the power m by b to the power m is equals to a by b to the power m. So, if they have same power we can write the base within the bracket outside we can give the power. The same thing we applied out here. Now, we are going to write the power in multiplicative form 3 into minus 2 by 3 divided by 1 by 2 square by 5 within bracket 4 into 1 fourth. Here powers are multiplied. In the previous steps, we have done just the opposite. 2 to the power 6 becomes 2 to the power 2 within bracket outside the bra bracket 3. So, powers are multiplied. Here also we are multiplying the powers plus 1. Now, we are going to cancel 3, 3 and 4, 4. So, now we have 4 by 5 to the power minus 2 divided by 1 by 4 by 5 plus 1. To make the power positive, we take the inverse of the base 5 by 4 square divided by 1 by 4 by 5 is 5 by 4 plus 1. 5 square 25 by 16 into we take the inverse because division becomes multiplication 4 by 5 plus 1. 5 25 gets reduced 4 and 16 gets reduced we get 5 by 4 plus 1 answer is 9 by 4 we change it into mixed 2 whole number 1 by 4 this sum again we have to simplify we have 5 to the power n plus 3 and here we have 5 to the power n plus 1. Down we have in the denominator we have 5 to the power n, 5 to the power n. So, we can take 5 to the power n common 
and above we can take maximum 5 to the power n plus 1 common. So, here we are going to break the power 5 to the power n plus 1 plus 2 and denominator we are taking 5 to the power n common. So, we have 9 minus 4 2 square 4. So, when we simplify we get another 5 and above we break it again as 5 to the power n plus 1 instead of this plus 2 we are writing 5 square down we are writing 5 to the power n into 5 rest remains same. Now, we can take 5 to the power n plus 1 common. So, 5 square 25 minus 6 is within bracket this we can write as 5 to the power n plus 1 basis same powers are added. The whole thing gets cancelled and 25 minus 6 is 19. So, this is the answer. In this sum we have 27 as our base, 32 as our base and 0.8 as our base. So, 27 we know it is 3 cube, 32 we know it is 2 to the power 5. 0.8 we are just changing it into a fraction 8 by 10. Here also in the power we have 0.8, so we are changing into fraction 8 by 10 and reducing it. Next step, we are multiplying the powers, 3 3 gets cancelled here, 5 5 gets cancelled and here as there is minus sign in the power, so we are inverting it and writing 5 by 4. 5 was there in the denominator, we are inverting it and making the power positive. Actually, 1 is still there, but it is positive power, so we are not writing again. Next step, 3 to the power 4 is 81, 2 to the power 4 is 16 and plus 5 by 4. When we are adding, we are getting 97 plus this we are changing into mixed fraction 1 1 fourth simply by adding we are getting 98 1 fourth. In this sum if we observe carefully we will find that this expression matches one of the algebraic formula. Now how to proceed let us take x one third as a and x to the power minus one third as b. So, the first factor becomes a minus b and the second factor becomes a square, square of a becomes x to the power 2 by 3 plus a into b plus b square. Again, if we see that x minus one third to the power 2 or square of it is x to the power minus 2 by 3. Only thing we have to check whether a into b is 1 or not. Here, if we multiply a into b, that is x one third multiplied to x minus one third. Bases are same, so powers will be added one third minus one third, that is x to the power 0, anything to the power 0 is 1. So, this is matching. So, the formula is a cube minus b cube. Now, we are going to substitute the value of a and b. So, by substituting we get x one third was a. So, instead of a we are going to write x 
वन थर्ड क्यूब माइनस एक्स माइ टू दी पावर माइनस वन थर्ड क्यूब एज बी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई द पावर वन थर्ड इंटू थ्री माइनस एक्स टू दी पावर माइनस वन थर्ड इंटू थ्री 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 गेट्स कैंसल्ड थ्री थ्री गेट्स कैंसल्ड वी गेट एक्स माइनस वन बाई एक्स बिकॉज द पावर इज नेगेटिव सो वी मेक इट पॉजिटिव आंसर इज एक्स माइनस वन बाई एक्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सम वी कैन डू इट इन टू वेज either by multiplying the powers with the base of the numerator and denominator or we can subtract the powers within the bracket because the base is same we can subtract the power within bracket anyway i have multiplied the power so a plus b multiplied to a minus b c also is multiplied to a minus b so in the power we have c into a minus b in the denominator here we have x to the power b plus c into b minus c here we have x to the power a into b minus c third part we have x to the power c plus a into c minus a x to the power b into c minus a next step a plus b into a minus b a is a square minus b square so instead of this we are writing a square minus b square and in the denominator we are expanding multiplying and writing c into a a c minus b c again in the next part we are having b square minus a square in the exponent and in the denominator we are having ab minus ac in the last part we have x to the power c square minus a square as we had c plus a into c minus a in the denominator we are multiplying we are getting bc minus ab now here we find all the bases are same and there is dots that means multiplication in between so the product of the same bases powers are added so here we have added the powers of the numerator and again we have added the powers of the denominator in the numerator we get a square minus a square so we cancel b square minus b square plus b square cancel minus c square plus c square cancel so we get x to the power 0 in the denominator we get ac minus ac cancel minus bc bc gets cancel plus ab minus ab gets cancel so again we get x to the power 0 and anything to the power 0 is 1 so 1 by 1 is 1 or if you cancel also you get 1 in this simplification we have square root cube root we have seen square root we have seen this sign is root but this is not square root this is ln root this is mn root this is nl root now how to express root we will find out we know we have found out from the law but before that inside or under the root we are going to simplify we have x to the power l by x to the power m it becomes x to the power l minus m here we have same x to the power n by x to the power n so x to the power m minus n and 
in the third one we have x to the power n minus l. Now we are going to apply the law where root is involved. This particular law we are going to apply. Nth root we can write as a to the power 1 by n. So ml we are writing as 1 by ml. But already in the numerator we have L minus M. So L minus M by LM. Here in the exponent we have M minus N by MN. And in the last part we have N minus L by NN. Because the bases are same we are adding the power. Now, in the denominator, we have LM, MN and NL. If we take the HCF, we get MNL. By multiplying with the uncommon factor, we get N into L minus M, L into M minus M plus M into N minus L. Then by multiplying with n, we get nl minus mn plus lm minus nl plus mn minus ml. Now we will get, we can see that nl minus ln and nl are same. So one is positive, one is negative getting cancelled. Plus ml and minus ml. Lm and ml are same so again these two are getting cancelled. mn minus mn plus mn gets cancelled. So we have 0 by mnl that is x to the power 0. Answer is 1. This is a different type of sum. We are going to do it in a different manner. Here in the denominator we have 1 plus a to the power m minus n. Instead of doing anything else we are going to break this as a to the power m by a to the power n. Similarly we will write a to the power n by a to the power m here. Next if we take the LCM, we get a to the power n minus a to the power m plus 1 by a to the power m plus, sorry this is also plus a to the power n by a to the power m. So a to the power n goes up in the numerator, down we have a to the power m plus a to the power n. Because both are positive, we are writing a to the power m at the beginning. Here also a to the power n goes in the numerator. We have a to the power m plus a to the power n. a to the power m plus a to the power n we take as LCM. Up we have a to the power n plus a to the power m. So a to the power m plus a to the power n by a to the power m plus a to the power n gets cancelled. The whole will get cancelled. Part cannot get cancelled because there is a plus sign and we get the answer as 1.